What is up, everyone? It is Michelle Alexandria coming at you with one of my last videos related to the Sony 950G. I am sadly returning it primarily not because I hate the TV, but because I can't stand Best Buy anymore. I want, I'm not going to go into a long rant about it, but there are a bunch of effing racist a-holes and I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. I was planning on doing a huge rant video about it, but I just don't have the energy for it. I, I, I just hate them with the fiery passion now. I would never do business with Best Buy ever again, ever. Um, or at least not my local Best Buy store because I'm just not doing it. And I, and I don't want to go into a whole rant video because I don't like doing rant videos. And it takes too much energy. Um, both emotionally and physically to do a rant video, but I'm, I'm just really frustrated with Best Buy. So I'm sending this TV back. They're picking me up on Saturday, and I'm just not going to have a new TV. Buying a, t buying a TV should not be this effing hard. It really shouldn't be. And I'm just going to see what 2020 holds, but I'm happy with my effing OLED B7. Screw it. Now the one thing I the one thing I don't like I really love this TV but the one thing I don't like about it is I think it it, it does a really poor job with HDR. When I when I I finally found a picture setting that I really love but whenever it's in HDR or um, Dolby Vision is it, it just I can't get it dialed in correctly. It just doesn't do a good job with HDR or Adobe Vision. And it's not because it blooms. It doesn't bloom at all, as far as I can tell. It's just that the picture just looks out of whack a little bit. But I found a great picture mode, and I'm going to do something I never do, and I'm going to show you my settings. Hopefully, this will help some of you guys dial in your picture. And basically, what I do, what I've been doing all week is I've just been using this setting and this setting and just turning deactivating HDR, which kind of defeats the whole point of a $1,600 4K HDR TV. Um, but in this mode that I have, the picture, the picture looks stunning. So I'm going to show you the settings, and after I show you the settings, I'm going to show you the picture in action. So let's start. So basically, what I do is I go into standard mode. I have my bright, brightness set to 30, and again, I'm not a professional calibrator or anything, so don't come at me with with yelling at me about how you don't like my settings. I don't care. These are my settings. Um, like them or not, I don't care. Um, but I'm hoping you guys get enjoyment out of this. So anyway, I have my brightness set to 37, and then I have my color bumped up to 65, because that way you get the color pop against the blackness. And then I have my light sensor turned off, but sometimes if I'm watching stuff in vivid mode or in this mode and things are really bright, then I like to have my light sensor on because it, like, it evens stuff out really nicely. Because when it's on full torch mode, in no matter what mode you're in, that this TV gets really super bright and it gives me a huge headache. So then you go to, it's gonna be hard going back to my OLED <laughs> after this, I'm, I gotta be honest. Um, so you click, Advanced mode, you go into bright, and I'm going purposely going slow because I want you guys to be able to see and follow along. So then you get you click the brightness, and again, brightness 37. I have my contrast set to 90. Uh, gamma, I don't touch, I don't touch, I don't even know what it does. I'm at the my black level here is at 42. I don't know how this, I think the other one is the backlight level. So I have the backlight set to 37, and then I have the black level set to 42. I have black adjust set to medium. I have advanced contrast enhancer set to high. Auto local dimming set to high. Extended dynamic range set to high. And then under color, I have the color at 65. I don't even know what the hue does, but I played with it and just bumped it up to G3 just to play with something. And then my color temperature is set to warm. And advanced color temperature, I don't really touch. I don't even know what any of this stuff does. So you go in here. So yeah, I didn't, did not touch any of this stuff because I have no idea what it is. And if I don't know what it is, I'm not gonna screw around with it. I don't know, well, that's not true. I screwed around with all this other stuff. <laughs> so anyway, I have the live color set to high. And per color adjustment, let's see. I, again, I don't know what any of this stuff is. So I didn't touch it. 
clarity, I have the, I bumped the sharpness up to 64 because it's a 4K TV. I like my stuff to be sharp. I don't understand all these people are like, oh, turn off sharpness, turn sharpness down to zero. No, I want my stuff sharp and crisp and clean. And so I have mine bumped way up. Um, so I have it up to 64. I have reality creation at auto, uh, random noise. I have all the processing stuff set to auto because again, I don't understand why people say turn off all the automatic processing stuff. That's why you spend all this money on these really expensive TVs with these fancy processors. I'm sorry people, but you want your processing features turned on. That's, that's how you're going to get the best picture. I think anyway. So then you have smooth gradation. For motion, I have, again, I don't really know how to use any of this stuff, so I, didn't, I don't think I touched any of it, but smoothness, smoothness is set to two, clearness is set to one, and center motion is set to auto. Video options are auto, so there you go. Now, we're gonna go right into here, and I'm gonna play this little OLED 4K demo, and you're gonna see how amazing it is. Now, I'm going to turn up the volume for a split second just so you can hear how great VR is. Like, my my Sony H9S soundbar has never sounded this good on my OLED and on my OLED B7 because the OLED B7 does not support ERC. But now, ERC is no joke. It, ERC is a real thing. So, here we go. So I turned it off because I don't want to, but let's do it just a little bit. If I could find the mute button. Let's see if it's better in real life. Like, do you honestly see any blue? Like if you want to be nitpicky, you can say there's a little dirty screen up on the right hand side, top right hand corner, but it's not even really noticeable. But wow. And is that the LG OLED? Is he sent? It's a Sony 950G. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.